So this is Gracie and this is Sapphire and they are Dapple Dachshunds. They are eight weeks and five days. And this is a video to show you what it's like looking after two puppies. 6 a.m. in the morning, I come down and as soon as I open the door, they start uh, whinging. So I quickly just open the blinds and open the back door so that I can take them straight out for a wee. There they are, ready to go. So quickly open the door so that I can carry them out because we have really high steps to get Good down morning. to our grass. So we have to be really Good careful. Morning, my little so this is the playpen. Um, I'll show you it a little bit later. That's Sapphire out first and Gracie. She can't quite get over that. So first we of the day and first number two of the day. We do end up clearing up quite a lot of uh, wheeze and poos, unfortunately, but this is part of the job and this is just to show you how much there is to do. So take them outside for 10 minutes and then we just slide that across so I can open the door. It's a bit of a heat wave at the moment uh, when I was filming. So clean the puppy pen. I put the pad out for the night so that they can wee on it. I don't think puppies can go all night. Um, and then I just get out a couple of treats because their first feed is not till eight o'clock. So I give them a couple of treats first thing. They're very keen. And then I can just go and make a cup of tea without them following me around all the time. And it just gives um, a little break. And my husband comes in, he wants his breakfast as well. So treats are all gone. A little bit of a play. And then they're going to be straight back outside for another wee. Basically, I try and take them outside every half an hour every 45 minutes just to stop them from weeing inside more mess to clear up there's probably about five or six number twos each day it's really hot day already oh they've got a leaf there so they came back in with the leaf and had a little play with that uh, I missed one so I wasn't watching this is going to happen for the first couple of weeks they're really investigating the top patio at the moment, but we have to be with them all the time because we've got um, a steep drop. I'll show you in a minute, but they're absolutely loving the investigations at the moment. It's all new to them and especially around the side of the house. We've got some big bushes there as well. We'd lose them in. So first sleep of the day. So they grow up at six, uh, sleep at seven. I can have my breakfast. I try and leave the TV or the radio on nearly all the time so they've got noise. Um, and I've shut the pen door so they're nice and safe. Try and get some washing done whilst they're sleeping for half an hour. Because it's so hot, I'm putting a couple of carrots in the freezer for just for half an hour. You don't leave them for too long because they go funny. My assistant has got up, so that's good. We decided to try on their harnesses um, to see what they were like and see what they thought of them. And they just completely ignored them. And they thought there was something to play with, actually. So that's good. Just weren't sure whether they were going to fit. Um, I'm going to just talk through some of the equipment, just so you've got an idea of what you're going to have to buy. And, and I'll list it all below. Uh, this was in our puppy pack. This was so sweet from the breeder, who are friends of ours. And it says Gracie and Sapphire on them. They're so cute. Um, these are the um, harnesses we got. This is a, a Julius K9, which is a very good make. And then this was a slightly cheaper version. And then these are two leads we got for when we can't take them out, obviously, for about another three weeks till they're fully vaccinated. But we decided to get everything ready. This is the pen and I love it. I'm really pleased I got this metal pen, especially with two of them. And we've got two beds in it, a towel. Uh, that's just a sort of lamb's wool. And then the pad and we've got water in there, water over on the other side as well and water in the garden. So, and these are just two collars we've got as well, just to have collars, although we will use the harnesses most of the time. So this pen is fab. You can just, um, you can get as many sections as you want. It's got the door and actually we open it up like that for them during the day so that they can wander in and go to sleep whenever they want. These are the training pads. We just use one a night. Um, and this is just one. They love the soft blankets and the soft beds. This was again from the breeder. It's so sweet. So we were really pleased with those. This is our other dog, Bella. She's seven. She doesn't even get up normally till about eight. So um, it's about 7.30. So I get her down 
she is a bit grumpy with the puppies because they're only sort of been with us for five days so she's got her own route to go outside if she wants to go and have a wee we're giving her lots of love and attention so she doesn't feel left out and we're just with her all the time when she's with the puppies you just cannot leave them alone so 8 a.m breakfast time and they are on a raw food diet um, we've been doing that with our own dog for about six months i'm not a complete expert but you know we sort of know what to feed and the pet shop advises us also lulu and friends is another dachshund channel she's really good with her raw food so they get um 40 grams each and they absolutely adore it and it absolutely stinks <laughs> so um if you can't stand smells it's quite tricky but i'm okay with it but they really really eat it all up they love it this is a uh, beef and tripe they're on there this is just some of the chews that we've got for them um you, you'll probably recognise some of the makes from the supermarkets and that's working. And we've just cut up these ones into tiny little ones for um, training. So out again for another wee, like I said, every half an hour or so outside. And we've got outside toys. They're loving investigating the edge of the garden. These are the steps that are the problem and we're teaching them how to go up the stones there. We've sort of made it a bit easier and they really are learning it well. Um... We just it's a gradual thing and we just have to keep an eye on them we're going to let them do steps oh here we are carrots they're enjoying the carrots on such um, a hot day um and here we go for the next sleep they settle themselves down on that one about nine o'clock when they wake up straight outside even though you can see they're still waking up here they're a little bit tired but straight outside so they can wee outside look at them what are they looking at oh bella yeah bella's come out they're finding her very interesting, although she's growling at them a little bit. She's tried to play as well. This is Safi. And they're loving the bottom of the bushes. We have to watch them with some of the leaves, like we've got a rhubarb plant. We know to watch them there. Just try and make sure they're not eating things. Oh, guinea pigs are out and they're enjoying um, being able to watch them. They haven't sort of scared the guinea pigs or anything. And another sleep, 11am. Puppies tend to sleep quite a bit. This is a treat we've given them and that gives us a good half an hour if you give them a treat and they really, really enjoyed these. A little bit more of a play. See, we have loads of toys so that if you're holding a puppy, you just give them the toy so that they don't bite your hand. Just give them the toy to bite. Here's Bella trying to play, but she's a little bit big for them. I think they get a little bit scared. <laughs> she's showing off running around. Um, ice in the really hot weather, ice cubes in the water and they really enjoy because it, it keeps it a bit colder. So they get fed every four hours, um, 8 o'clock, midday, 4 p.m. and 8 p.m. Here we are, I've put stones in the holes there just to show you, you have to go around your whole garden and try and fill up any holes because they will escape, they're so tiny. Then we're moving along now, 4 p.m. feed and the sun's starting to go down. It was a, such a hot day, it really has been. It's been about 27, 28 degrees. And then in the evening, we take them up into the lounge. So they've got sort of different toys up there and they can get used to the area. They can't do the main stairs yet. And here they are zonked out again. I think I've skipped the 8 p.m. feed, but we let them sleep upstairs. They're good with the TV. They're getting used to it. They love this big bed. And then downstairs at 10 p.m. for a wee um, in the garden half asleep if they can and then off to bed and sorry it's really dark but they're settling down they're very good they're in the pen you shut the gate and they've been fantastic all night and I don't advocate getting two puppies if you're not sure how to cope but actually these two are been really good at night and then it starts all over again the next morning, <laughs> all full of energy. My daughter did these pictures, just wanted to show you at the end. They're just so sweet. Um, so thanks for watching. Any questions, put them in the comments and we'll see you again soon.